everyone, I thought I would just show you one of my hauls recently from Colt Pens and I got a mixture of inks and some notebooks. I've got two Leustrom notebooks, this is the five year diary, I'll just flip through this to show you what it looks like. I have had these before and I'm not very good at sticking to them. I'll show you the second notebook later, we'll have to do a flip through. And then I got some of these inks I've never heard of before, I think they're Hungarian, possibly Peonia. And because I've never tried them before, I got some shades I've not used before and also some KWZ ink. I think this is exclusive to Colt Pens and this is called a duo colour one. It should be duochrome, I think, in green, brown. And these are shimmer additives, which you add to fountain pens. So we'll see if these are any good or if they block up your pens. I have been using these for a while. You get a little pipette with them to add to your ink and they don't seem to block up the pen too much but you will definitely need to give them a super clean every time you change your ink out. I also got three of these and these are Colt Pens, these are their exclusive colours and I have some of Colt Pens exclusive colours which are the sheening inks and they are amazing. Okay so here's the first one which I'm going to swatch the Pin. I can't say it, Pinonia ink. I'm not even going to try to say the colour, but it's a cor corally orange shade. And then this is the KWZ green brown colour, which is quite dark. It's quite murky and I'm hoping that when it dries you can see a bit of the green and the brown. And then I'm using the corally orange colour and I'm adding a little bit of the additive just to show you what it does. And you only need to add, I think it's like one to two drops to it. And look, this one is a gold colour, like a pearlescent gold. And I'm just going to spread that out with a paintbrush. Then again, I'm using the KWZ and this time I will add the green to this, the apple green. And it does come in lots of different colours, the shimmers, but these are just the two that appeal to me. And I'll spread that with a paintbrush and when they're dry, we should be able to see what it does to the ink. Now I'm going to swatch the Colt Pens. This is Little Mickey, which is a really rich blue. I have lots and lots of blue ink, but you can't have too many blue inks, I think. I mean, it's such a deep blue, it's almost touching on purple slightly, or violet. And then we'll do the second shade, which is Little Matty, which is like a grey colour. I think that all the rings are named after people that possibly work for the company, which is quite sweet. And these three colours aren't, I don't think they're sheening inks or anything like that. They're definitely not pearly or glittery. And then finally we have this one called Little Lou, which is like a, kind of like a burnt yellow. It reminds me of another colour um, called Tobacco Sunburst. Now I really, really, really like this colour. This is one I've currently got in my main fountain pen. And you, maybe you can't tell from this, but it sheens really, really nicely. So that is my favourite. Anyway, so now we're going to flick through the like. I can always struggle. Is it like term? Anyway, let's have a flick through this change journal. And this is an unusual one because it has a mixture of inspirational things and it has some techniques inside to help you be productive, that kind of thing. So I'm going to flick through and just show you what the pages look like. So for example, these pages here are gratitude pages and you can work through this in any order that you want. There's no particular guide to be honest. So you have to just kind of work through it how you want. So this one here, like the circle trick and there's nice images as well throughout which are kind of inspiring ones like this. Digital detox, so there's different tips to help you manage your time. This is for example is a chart and um, what you spend your time on. Some more nice imagery and habits is another good one. I think that you could probably use one of the sections or maybe you could use a couple at the same time. If it was me, I would only use one because it's a bit much really. So here's some flow charts and different techniques. If you like self-help books, then you'll probably recognize quite a few of the techniques they mentioned here. I know that I did. So you kind of get a little snippet of that too, which is cool. And it is a pretty hefty notebook, it's hefty. Um, so it's, it's not a cheap notebook, 
but you do get a lot for it. It's just whether you think it's useful, more useful than doing your own bullet journal, for example. And you get interesting things here, like about trees. And at the beginning, you see there's something about drinking water and no, the power of saying no. And the sections are a couple of pages long. Clearing out, things like decluttering. The Pareto principle, things like that. I like the photography in this as well. I think it looks really good. Really nice images and quotes. I suppose that not all the sections will be useful for everybody. It depends if you're the kind of person that will work through it regardless or you're just going to dip in and out. I haven't actually started using this yet because I feel like it's going to spoil it because it's such a nice looking notebook. And it does come in a few colours, not just grey. Aww, little tigers. I do feel like these sections with the reading are worth it, make the notebook really worth it anyway. I think about goals here. I think that it works out if you did a page a day, I, it works out that you have something like maybe six months worth of pages to work through. And a doggy. And the pages are, as you'd expect, really good quality paper. Although I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know if the water fountain pen will show through. I really, really hope not, because that would really annoy me. A little bit there about saving. So yeah, there's all kinds of stuff in here. It's really interesting. I don't think I'll probably start at the beginning. I'll probably flip through and see which section is the most relevant for me or actually like I said you can just mix, mix, mix and match as you go through and then you have some blank pages at the back here of course just to scribble in and your usual stickers so now I'm going to show you the inks that I've dried so there's the two one is dried and one's with the additive you can see it makes quite a big difference with sheening and then this is the KWZ which I don't really like the colour if I'm honest but I do like it more when it has the green additive you can see it really makes it more interesting and these are the Colt Pen's exclusive colours the blue, beautiful blue, no complaints about that one the grey is more of a bluish grey and Little Lou, absolutely love that colour, that's my favourite one by far so there you go, that was my little haul that I made a while ago I thought I would share that with you, they're my favourite colours there so hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.